Hello, good evening, class. Can you listen to me? Hello, Julio and Heidi. Hello, can you guys listen to me? Hello. Hey, welcome, Julio. Thanks so much for answering. How are you doing? Good, great. Thank you, and you? Nice to hear that. I'm doing really good. Thanks so much for asking. And Heidi, how are you doing, Heidi? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Bye. Great. Great to hear that, okay? Thank so welcome, welcome guys, it's our session number four and it's already eight. I want to thank you for connecting on time. And today we have a review about yesterday's topic, which is um, the present, I mean, the, the simple past and the past continuous. And we are, we are going to study about adverse as well. And we're gonna leave for tomorrow the present uh, perfect continuous, okay? But as of now, we're gonna start with the class. So welcome, I, I really appreciate, you know, your participation and also your punctuality, okay? So let me start, let me start sharing the screen first. One second, please, here we go. Let's see. Good evening, teacher. Hey, how is it going, Milton? How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, My day, it was very, very nice. Awesome, I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear. Sometimes we have like a relaxing day. Sometimes we have tiring day. You know, lives is like that. It has ups and downs, right? I'm glad okay. to hear today was really cool uh, on your end. Okay, so welcome. We have uh, five participants plus myself. Today's topic, like I said at the beginning, is past continuous versus simple past. And I'm expecting- Teacher, to... Teacher please. Now, now you can help, help me about the exercise in section one. Sounds good. Sounds good. We can do that. Exercise section one. Okay. We can uh, let me stop and we can uh, check that. Exercise uh, number one point night. Okay. So did you say one? Okay. One point nine. One point nine. Okay. Let me go ahead and yes. access to that. Yes. Present continuous. Well, present continuous. Okay, let me okay. see. 1.9. Okay, let me see. Let me access to it. I, mm -hmm. I was at the afternoon. I try trying, but nothing. Uh, okay. And so I'm, I'm in already. So, and this is, uh, we're going to study. One second. Let me share the screen. We're going to in here. It says, based on what I'm looking at here, this is 1.9 knowledge uh, check. And which is the one that you need to check? Is this the one? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And what are you um, entering and <laughs> what is the problem? Is the... I try the sentence, change the position, and then when the, I, I for example, may, may crop um, are, are, are grow, growing mm -hmm. in, in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, uh, look at what it says here, right here. Let me show you right now. Using simple present, but what is really important is passive, passive form. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we say uh, many crops. Hey, please, please. It is where, where what, where, because is this is, a, a, well, I'm sorry, this is present, let me erase. <laughs> this is is because it's present or are, what is it? Is or are, what is the one we need when it's present? Which is the one that we need? Are. 
are exactly. Many. Exactly, we have crops. So many crops are, and now we need yeah. the very in past participle. What is the past participle yeah. of this? Yeah, it grew. Oh, that's it. That will be the, the simple past. The past participle is? Room. Is grow, growing. It's grown, exactly, right? Grown, like this. Grown. So that's grown. it. We just need to enter the, the, the corresponding verb to be plus the past participle of the verb. Many crops are grown Many in- grow, Are grown in Taiwan. Exactly. Are, are grown in Taiwan. Yeah. You can check I, that. I, 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 to do, I, to, uh, did, did uh -huh. do, did, I did, uh -huh. I did the, the, the same sentence, but it's a mistake. Yeah, I I don't know I don't know what is what is the problem. But are you only entering the answer, or are you entering the full answer? Because that might be the problem. If you enter the full answer, then you might have problems because uh, you don't need to enter the complete uh, answer. It's just uh, only the uh, the answer. So in this case, you need to make sure you enter are grown, and that's it. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. If if you by any chance show uh, or if you enter an, an additional character or any other, let's say, word or even a letter or maybe one it's, symbol or whatever. Additionally, at, the, at the ending, teacher, is point is necessary. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, since it's in the middle of the sentence, you don't you don't enter any period or any any full stop, you only enter are grown. So in this case, you want to say many crops are grown. So basically in the okay. blank, you just enter are grown. That's it, no okay. more, no more. If you do that, then it must be correct. So make sure you do the same with the following. For example, number two, many crops are consumed locally. Okay, so you don't enter some crops uh, locally. You just enter in the blank, are consumed, and that's it. So basically, it's, you, uh -huh. it, the, 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 to know the different is, the is or are, uh, singular yes. or plural. Correct. If the same, the same bear is in the past, okay? Correct. Correct. Okay. And something important is not the past of the verb. It is the past participle. Why am I saying this? Is because sometimes, uh, well, especially on irregular verbs, the verbs in the past participle form they change. They're not uh, the same as the simple past. So let's make sure we speak the same language. So we say, verb to be is are plus past participle, which is the third column of the verbs if you have a list of verbs. But if it's that, it's just uh, verb number three. So present, past, and past participle. That's the one we need to look and use, okay? So that Richard, will be it. But, yes. it, but is when it is it, it people, but it, when it is seen, only that or... What is that? Mm -hmm. Right. In this case, if it is people or if it is an object or situations or anything else, it doesn't matter. We just need to pay attention to the, the number, if it is singular or plural. Okay. So the verb to be will be adjusted to the subject. It's a, an, another exercise in the, in the same exercise. Uh -huh. The French and English, uh, French and English uh, spoke in Canada. Uh, oh, it, well, in this case, let's take it. Right. I know it's just a language, right? But then the, the question will be, what is the past participle of a speak? It's, it's spoke. Um, that will be the past. Speak, a spoke. Oh, it's speak. Spoken. spoken, yes. Spoken, spoken, okay. okay. Yes, you need to spoken. enter spoken, right? Spoken, that will be the, the correct one. So if you enter a spoken and it feels, you know, it gives an error, 
just let me know so I can report it because basically that must be the answer. Okay, there's no okay. other. Hmm? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, so I have a problem with the same section, but in my case, I have the problem with the 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 a sentence. How is it correct? Oh, correct form to use. Oh, it's made up. Made. It has to be made, Jorge. Made. Made. So it's made up. Have you tried made, made up? Made. made yes, up. I tried made up, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay, let me let me see. Number eight, right? So let me see. Let me access to that right now. Thank you for asking, guys. This is so important because uh, you know, even though this uh, everything has been already monitored and double checked, it might be there's some there's a glitch or something might not be working. So let me check that really quick. So let's see. That's knowledge checked. It's number eight. Let me see. I'm here. Oh, the U.S. The U.S. What did you What did you write? Is or are? With this made up. Yeah, but the, ver the verb to be. What did you write with the U.S.? No, but it is, is is because it's only ah. a country. It's a country. Yes, it's only one oh, country. Wow. Okay. Yeah, if it was talking about the people, then it might change the answer. But in this case, it's only one country. So we say the US in the blank we enter is made up of 50 states. Okay, so that's that's the answer. It's only one country. Okay, any okay. Uh, good. Any other question, guys? All right, so we move on. Yesterday we started talking about past. A simple past and past continuous, right? And I want to know if you had the chance to finish watching the video I asked you to do. Watch. Did you finish, Miguel? Did you did it? Did you, did you, did you complete? What, I mean, did you finish watching the video? Yeah, no? I think I awesome. The video. So you are going to explain to the class how to use the simple past and also when to use when, when to use while, okay? So what can you tell me? Okay, it's past continuous is a uh, interruption, is an uh, action. Okay. Uh, simple past is a uh, description, uh, action. Uh -huh. uh, one star in past uh -huh. and finalis, in the past. Finale in past. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, that's what it is. So basically, the simple mm -hmm. past started in the past, completed in the past, it remains in the past. And then the past continues. It's in the past, but it was in progress, right? So that, that was what we said yesterday. All right. Thank you so much for, for refreshing our minds. So take a look at this one. Now, let's talk about simple okay. past. I know you guys know of this already, but then let's review, okay? So the simple past, guys, it's just, you know, subject very in the past. And then we have um, an example on my right. I don't know if you can see it on, my, on the right. The first one is, I saw a movie. What? I saw a movie yesterday. Simple past. Mm -hmm. What happened if we want to make a negative? What do we use? What do mm. we use? Exactly, we use didn't, didn't. So in this case, and the verb goes in present because we use didn't, right? We say, I didn't see a, a play yesterday. We do not say I didn't saw because I'm using didn't and didn't makes the verb in the past. That's basically it, right? And then um, do you have questions guys about how to make uh, simple past uh, sentences, either uh, affirmative or negative or, or questions? Or do you have a clear picture on how this works? So I move on. Or give me examples. Okay, I want for, to hear for, examples in the past. For, for the moment, teacher. yes, teacher. Uh, but uh, maybe some uh, example, very, very more example for the simple past and the present continue. Mm -hmm. Nice, we're gonna go over that. Okay, thank teacher. you for that. Mm -hmm. I users didn't or did mm -hmm. is verb in present. Exactly. Exactly. In simple past. 
exactly. In... Okay. What then, is it? Mm -hmm. In past continuous, is the structure is was where is right. uh, in past parties in ing in exactly. G. I and G. Uh -huh. Okay. Exactly. That's correct. If it is, if it is simple past, when we make questions or when we make negatives, we say the very in present because we are using didn't, which is our auxiliary. The auxiliary is mm -hmm. just a word that helps us with the main verb, either to, to make a negative or to make it question. That's why it's an auxiliary. Auxiliary, it helps. That's why it's an auxiliary you know, um, okay. that we're going to be using. So basically here we have didn't. If it is a question, we start with the auxiliary. In this case, we say, did you, and then the verb, we do not say it in the past, okay? We sometimes tend to say it in, in, in the past, but it's not correct because the didn't is making it in the past, okay? Or did. Well, uh, what else do I want to say about this? Yesterday I said, if you have the time, you have the chance, go ahead and check for the pronunciation. Before I, I go over that, I want to know, guys, if you know the difference between regular and irregular verb. Reg regular and irregular. Do you have that clear and how it works? Can you distinguish, can you distinguish one irregular and one regular verb? In the regular, in the irregular verbs, change the, the word. Spelling, okay. And in the regular verbs, uh, we add ed. Give me an example, please. Started. Uh, fin finish. Como se pronuncia finish? That's what I want to talk, okay? Finish, re regular, and then we say finished, right? Started. Finished. Finished. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. So you are giving me examples of regulars, right? Example, uh, regular, play, play it. Exactly. Uh, uh -huh. Irregular is freezing, uh, frozen. Okay. Freeze, frost, frozen. Okay. Irregular. Yes. Thank you so much. As you have said it, we have the regular verse that changes spelling in the past and past participle. But regular we only add ed and it's already the past this is easy so you might be saying so how do i know if it is regular and how do i know if it is irregular well let, the answer to that is we have a list of verbs that are already classified okay they, even if you look for verbs you can say this is regular and this is irregular so my best recommendation is to start checking and and maybe memorizing because there's no other way or practicing the verbs so you say, okay, this is regular, this is irregular. Now, what is more important is this, guys. I want you to please pay attention to this. If you already know this, fine. But if you don't know about how to distinguish, how to pronounce the ED in regular verse, I want you to pay attention to this because uh, sometimes you say, uh, how do you say llamar in English? You say call. How do you say uh, yo te llamé in English? How do you say that? Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Cold. Oh. We, we do not say call yet, right? We don't say call it. How do you say jugar? We say play. What is the past? We don't say play yet. We say played. Okay. We don't say a finished present. We don't say finished. Okay. We don't say that. We say finished. We don't say walk present. Walk when you walk on the park. We don't say walk oh. yet. We say walk. Well, so well, how do how do I know well, if I want to say uh, t, t, or id because there are three sounds? Do you know uh, what the three sounds are? Have you heard about this already? Because I want to take some minutes. So when do I say t, like t like tango, or, or when do I say d, like delta, or when do I say the extra syllable mm -hmm. id? Do you know that? Anybody? Yeah. Okay, yeah. explain to me, please. Yeah. I want to know, because if you already know this, fine, we move on. Okay, yeah, just go ahead. Sure. Mm -hmm. I listen to you guys, go ahead. When, uh -huh. go ahead. I listen first occasion, uh, do you say, uh, 
in Spanish <laughs> word. Yes, yes, I, I, I said many yes. Spanish words. I said many because <laughs> I was explaining. Yes. Yeah, I said many yes. Spanish words. Uh -huh. I said like maybe five more or more words in Spanish to illustrate the example. Well, this is the thing. If a verb ends with that T or mm -hmm. a D sound, mm -hmm. we add an extra syllable. Listen to this again. If one verb regular ends with a T like tango or D delta mm -hmm. sounds, we add extra syllable. Give me an example, okay. Start mm -hmm. ends with a T, ends with a T sound. So we say started, we add extra syllable. If, mm -hmm. if it finished, the last sound is D, we add the extra syllable. So can you think of any example that ends with a, with a D sound? What comes to your mind? Um, what? Walk is, do you say walk? Walk. Talk. Can you say it again, please? Yes. Talk. Walk. 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 Yeah. Okay, so that. That one, but it, what about the very in the present? Does it finish with, with what is the last sounds of walk? The last sound is K, okay. hey, walk. Okay. It's not D. So let me give you an example with D. How do you say decidir in English? Decide. Decide, decide. exactly. Decide, the, the, last, the last sound is a D decide the, the, decide. The, so how do you say it in the past we say decided decided, decided. That is the past. decided. how do you say visitar 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 is visit, visit. what is what is the, the past um, another visit. 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 visit exactly visit. Visit. look at this one i have the, the solution to this go ahead complete Complete. Complete. What is the past? Completed. 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 So the rule says, the rule says, this is like a general rule. Of course, the, there might be exception, but the general rule says, if a verb ends with the, look at this one. This is so important. So you don't, you don't pronounce or mispronounce. So come on, I'm going to be very, uh, look at this one. If a verb ends with the, with the, T, we add extra syllable. We say what? We say it. For example, want, wanted. And with D, ended. We add extra syllable. We add, the, we add the syllable what? It. That is mandatory. Okay. Visit. So, visit. Visit. Visited. Uh -huh. Any other any other uh, bird that ends with uh, with this uh, with these sounds, guys, that you can think about? Accept, 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 accept exactly. Yeah. Accept, accept is the present and the past is accepted. Exactly, accepted, mm -hmm. exactly. Oh. Okay, so this is the easiest one. So whenever, guys, you find a bird that ends, listen, it is not a spelling; it is sound. It is sound, it's the last sound with a D or a, or a T. You don't force it. You don't, uh, you say one, no, it's wanted. Visit, visit. Now, my, this is my next, uh, my next, uh, let's say category, I would say. If a verb ends with a D sound, like sound, like with a P or F, sound or or s sound ch, like ch, like this sh, sound or ch, like this one or k you need to pronounce it like t okay for example hope hope like the, the last sounds is p so therefore we say hoped t, only t hope you do not say hope it, never. You say hope. Look at this one. If the verb ends with the, how do you how do you pronounce this word? You say laugh. Laugh. 
the last the last sound is f sound laugh laugh so you say laugh laugh you only add the t and you're saying it in the past look at this one fax the last sound is a s sound fax fax so how how do you say it in the past fax 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 Exactly. Only the T. That's really important. So you don't you don't say fax it. No. Why? Because my 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 point of reference is fax and it's a S sound. Therefore, I say faxed and it's already in the fax. past. Okay. Look fax. at this one. Wash. 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 Exactly. I wash. heard it very much. Wash. Wash. Watch TV. Wash. I watched. Watch. Exactly. And what about this one? Like. Like. Like, 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 once like, again, like, I want to, I want to make like, sure, guys, this is clear. Like, I am not like, liked with a T sound. Like. I am not, I am not saying that is a spelling. This is important. This is not a spelling. This is sound, last sound, okay? Because you say it, but you see, like end with the E, and why are you saying that is the K? Because the last sound of like, you don't say like, you say like. The K like, sound, like, it gives you the reference like, that it is liked. Exactly, like, with the T, liked. Like, 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 yes. Light. Okay, so basically this is this is a T sound. Now the the good news is that all the other sounds are going to be with a D sound. Okay, those are considered voiced sound because you use your vocal cords, and uh, so all other sounds are with a D. So if if the verb does not end with with any of these uh, letters or sounds, then you have to add the D. Can you think of any example? Can you think of any example with the D sound because there are three sounds for, for the ED? Answer? Exactly. So I like that one. Let me let me write it right here. So because she said answer. Let's see, answer. What is the last sound? Is the R sound. The R is not here, therefore the ED is answered. The answered. We do not sure. say, we don't say answered. No, it's the, like this sound, like delta. Answered, answered. Good. So, because why do we say D? Because it's the last sound is R and it's not listed here. Okay. So, let me give you some other examples. Maybe you can think about other ones. Look at this one. So, all other. Uh, sounds are considered voiced and we say D. So this is the key. Uh, maybe you guys, you want to start checking the last sound of the verb in the present and you want to start practicing if it is D or if it is T or if it is E, extra syllable. Let me tell you that all the vowel sounds are considered voiced. Therefore, if it is a last vowel sound, you have to say it with a D sound, okay? In this case, play, a is an A sound, which is a vowel. Play. We say played. 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 The played. Played. Allowed. Begged. Allowed. The, like this sound. Okay. Hello. Hello. So the challenge is this, because I don't have much time for this. This is just, uh, I consider this is so important. If you already know this, uh, it's fine. But if you this is new for you, maybe you want to start checking and making your own list and you can start practicing this because, because I don't want anybody from this class saying play it or allow it or beg it. That is a very common mistake that I listen to. And I don't want you to be saying that, okay? Especially when you talk about the past. If you, once again, if you already knew this, fine. But if you didn't know, maybe you want to double okay. check or investigate more about how it works and start, no. you know, pronouncing it without any fear that this is the correct okay. form. Thank Do you, you have any questions, guys, before I move on? Or maybe give me some examples. No? Or if it's, I don't know, if it's all confusing, you guys can also raise your hand and ask questions. I have a message here. Ah, the last one, the previous one. Okay, sure. Second. <laughs> Let me give me one second. Let me go back. Maybe this one. Uh, 
All right. So now you want to start checking your own list and say, hey, okay, so let me see this bird. What is the last sound? And if it is this sound, okay, now I say T. And that would be the best, uh, I would say, uh, exercise you can start doing. Okay, so what else? What questions do you have? All right, let's move on. Okay, so can any, anyone explain to me and to the class how we can use when and also while with present continuous and uh, sim I'm sorry, past continuous and, and simple past? If you watch the video, you might have the idea of what I'm talking about. Can anybody tell us? Just while for the past continuous and when for the simple past. Exactly. That's simple as that. Thank you so much. Can you give me examples now, please? Open your um, mic or maybe send your answers on the chat based on Miguel's answer. Uh, example, while I play soccer in past weekend, the, my wife car uh, study is for uh, emer emergency. Emergency. Oh, okay. So Miguel said uh, that we have while with past continuous. So can, ah, we, yes. can we double check that one, please? With the sentence that is in the past continuous, we use while. And with the sentence that it is um, simple past, when, the short action, the one that interrupts. So give me examples. Uh, Miguel Ramirez, can you double check that one, please? And can anybody else maybe participate, send your examples on the chat or open your mic, please? Yes. While I was player basket, playing basketball in the weekend pass, uh, I, I have a accident. Okay, you just need to double check the pronunciation of the verb have. What is the pass of have? Had. Exactly, had. had. I want to hear, Miguel, had. I want to hear the D sound. Okay. So, anyway, so can you say it again, please, if you, if you don't mind? Uh, Would you like to try again? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much. Go ahead. While I went to my working, it was raining. Oh, while I went to my working, something it needs to be changed, uh, Nubia. While, yes. after while, while, we need to, uh, while, and then what did you say? While I went, I went. Hmm. If I say while, while I, I went, went is simple past, Nubia. So we need to... Okay. We need to give that specific sentence next Going, to... sería, okay. going. Say, say, it, say it again, please, okay? While... While, while I going, I going to my work, it was raining. Hmm, I can see you're using two, two, two continuous, which is fine. But then what is missing? Rain, while, yeah. while... I I, while I was, going, while I, I was going, I was going exactly. I will while go. I was going to my work, you can say you can say it was raining that simultaneously, but then you can also say it rained if the action didn't last the entire trip from work and I don't know to home or depending on where you were, where you were going. So yeah, so the correct one will be while I was going, blah, 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 it rained. So that'll be the, 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 the correct one. I have some examples here while I was 
Thank you. While I was having lunch, the time's up. Ah, something is missing there, Julio. Uh, what is the verb in the second sentence? The time. What is the verb? The times. While I was playing PS4, the lights off. Okay, or went off. Went off. Okay, good. Any other example? Any other? Me, please? teacher. Yes, go ahead, please. I was sleeping when my cell phone ran. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I was it. I was sleepy <laughs> like you know, like a baby when my cell phone ran. Mm -hmm. Okay, Claudia, what's your example? What's your question? Uh, no, I I I went to to ask if, if I, are, I are good. I had fun when I was in Canada and I get laughing a lot while my cousin tell the jokes while my while my while my cousin uh you can say was telling the jokes because it's while and then past continuous that and then the previous one is okay and then i you said i think you say had or or have no i had fun when i was in canada that one is perfectly fine two two mm -hmm. past two past activities and the second one I just suggest you to change into uh, past continuous, the one, the activity after while, because after while is suggested past continuous. While my cousin was teacher. telling the joke. Uh -huh. Teacher, Why my cousin? Was Sorry. telling, was telling. Ah, uh, okay. Thank I you. I have an example, teacher. Go ahead. I, was, I was cooking breakfast, uh -huh. one hurt with knife. Exactly. I was I was cooking my breakfast when I cut myself with a knife. Uh -huh. yes. So this is like cat. Cat is like it's not cat. Like cat. <laughs> ah, cat, cat. Is, cat is the animal, but then you have ah. cat with <laughs> okay. an open mouth like cat when I cut myself. Cat. And yeah. so, so that's really like it's not cook, it's not cat because cat is the gato, and then cat with an open mouth that would be oh. the fur of cutting, cut, cut, cutting. Okay. Good. Any other example, guys? Any other example? Me teacher. Please go ahead. I was cleaning my house while my brother playing video games. Was I was cleaning my house while my I brother was. was while my brother was playing video games. Okay, so that is telling me why. Okay. While my exactly that is telling telling us that the two activities were simultaneously happening, right? Because while it can be used for that, but if you want to use uh, the simple past and the past continuous, you can say I was uh, cleaning my house uh, and then I was cleaning my house when my brother I don't know did something. So if you want to mix, if you want to use the both of them, or you can say, while I was cleaning my house, my brother uh, played, you know, and then that can be some, that can be an idea. So you can use the two tenses here. Okay. Um, so any other example that you want to um, give or any other question, guys? Maybe um, when I take a shower. I, I was ringing the, how do you say, timbre? Uh, bell, maybe. Bell. The bell. In the house. Okay, so can you say it again? I, when I take my sh shower, I will ring the bell in my house. I want to, I want to give you uh, some ideas here. Let's think about what is the longer action and what is the shorter action, okay? And let's use the longer action with past continuous. But what do you say? Can you think about that? Uh, maybe I talk in the shower. Taking. Exactly. Taking. Exactly. While I was taking a shower, the... Uh, Ring the bell. The bell. Ring. What is the pass? Uh, pass. 
because we are saying while I was taking a shower, you know, singing, listening to music, and then boom, the bell. That, that sound. door. I'm sorry. Oh, sounds. The uh, bell sound. The pass is sounded, but the action. If we, if we want if we want to use ring, what is the pass of ring? Ring. Wrong. 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 Good. Wrong. With the G at the end. Exactly. So we want to say when or while I was uh, taking a shower, the doorbell ring, rang. <laughs> okay. Yes. We can say doorbell. That's the best one because it's the it's the it's the one that we have out, you know, at the, at the door. So the doorbell is what you're gonna find. The doorbell rang. Okay, that's what you wanna say. So basically, we're saying here that the activity that is shorter is most of the time the one that interrupts, and that will be the simple past. Okay. So let's see. We have some time. We need to move on. If you have any additional question, guys, please ask me right now. Are we fine with this? Okay, if you if there is any while you're doing the exercises as um, Julio did at or Milton, I think did at the beginning, just go ahead and interrupt me at any time. So look at here, we're gonna talk about adverbs, okay? And this is basically, uh, I'm going to give you some adverbs and I want you to use them to finish some stories or to, to finish or to write some ideas uh, based on what I'm going to provide. What are adverbs? Well, the most common idea that I can give you is that adverbs end with the uh, L-Y. This is the most common adverbs that we have, which does not mean that this is on the only rule. There are other types of adverbs, but adverbs is specifically end with L-Y, for example. If the, verb is ha if, if the adjective is happy, what is the adverb? Happily, okay? So that, that can be an example. If I say neat, neatly, uh, nice, uh, nicely, okay, what else? So adverbs, basically we are, uh, they end with the L-Y. This is the most common ones. I'm gonna give you some of them. And when do we use adverbs? When we want to make emphasis, emphasis on something, okay? That's most of the time, they are most of the time used in this context. So I don't know if you have had the chance to watch the video. If you haven't done that, it's okay. I'm going to share it right now because I want you to copy the ones that I'm going to um, show you. Okay, let me see. Or maybe while I'm trying to uh, display the video here, you can give me some ideas about or any advert that you know, you might have heard. Any advert that you might have heard? on your own or that you know, or you like, that you like using maybe? Anybody? Always. <laughs> that is, that is <laughs> adverse of frequency. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a frequency, adverse of frequency, always. Okay. What about with L-Y? Do you know any? L-Y. With L-Y at the end? <laughs> I'm sorry? Usually. Usually, okay, yeah, that's correct. What others do you know? Deeply. Deeply, okay, yes. What else? Wisely. Wisely, I like that one, I like that one. What else? Actually. Actually, yeah, actually, it's a, it's a cognate. Some people are saying that saying actually means actualmente, but we all know that is a uh, uh, silver that, Luckily. right? Likely, okay, good. What what Hi. other? Successfully. Successfully, awesome. I like that one. Currently. Uh, currently, yes. Currently is another one. Yes, those are Alpers. And then look at this one, the ones we have on the screen. Can you see my screen? Sure. Yes. Yes. Because I can't. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened to this. It's all all you know grayed out. Well, if you can see it. We have, I think, uh, 10 adverbs here. We are not gonna say if they're negative or neutral or positive. I want you to, uh, I want you to be able to uh, understand them. So we have some of them here and let's listen to the way the speaker says them. Here we go. Hopefully it's going to work. Here we go. Hold on. Here we go. I, don't I, don't I can hear. 
I'm sorry. I'm missing, teacher. You don't listen. I can hear. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Thank you one second, please. Hold on. Oh, what's going on here? If you can hold on, guys. Sorry, I apologize for that. So what about now? Negative, and we press on neutral. Okay. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Here we go. Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, yeah. sadly, yeah. strangely, yeah. suddenly, yeah. surprisingly, yeah. unexpectedly, yeah. unfortunately. to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? <laughs> Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. What do you like most? Let me, let me, let me put it. Which one? Or which one um, it is easier to pronounce or more difficult to pronounce? Sadly. Which one? Sadly. Sadly is, is the easiest, right? I think. Yeah, OK. okay. Uh, what is the most Miraculous. difficult one? Miraculously. Miraculously, OK. OK. Coincidentally. Coincidentally. Unexpected. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Okay. Oh, repeat. Unexpectedly. Coincidentally. <laughs> Coincidentally. Yeah, we don't we don't pronounce the letter A here. Okay, we don't pronounce the letter A. Listen to this again. Here we go. Coincidentally. We don't say coincidentally. We say coincidentally. Here we go. Which are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously. Sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, let's do something. This is a storytelling, right? So this is the challenge that you guys have. Okay, let me move a little bit forward, hopefully. And I want you to... Then I decided which ones were complete. positive, negative, and neutral. We want you to complete the following statement. Exactly, with those this one, okay. I'm gonna give you uh, five minutes because I want you to use the adverbs and complete these three ideas, like a story, okay? Maybe you want to write them down. I was walking down the street when, what is the adjective? Blah, blah, blah. It, it started out as a normal day, but blah, blah, blah. Where we were on our way to the festival when you use the adverbs. Write these ideas down, then I'm going to show you the previous uh, adverbs. Write them down, please. Give you five minutes. I wanna see, I know you are really creative. Go ahead, please. These adverbs uh, usually, I don't usually, is because and history teacher. Hmm. It's yeah. it's little. Let's try to let's try to see which one best fits in these sentences. I was mm -hmm. walking down the street when. Mm -hmm. uh, and you use one of the adverbs previously given. Maybe I'm going to, okay, I'm gonna give you one minute to write this because I want to show you the adverbs in case you, you don't have them. But I was walking down the street when yeah, I was walking down the street when I Thank you. 
I was walking in the cell when miracle miraculously rang. <laughs> okay. When it miraculously rained. Okay. Rain. I like it. So I want you to give me more ideas. We had you have two more, two more examples. Two more. All right, take a shot. In case you want to see the address, let me know because so I can go back and show that to you. Mm -hmm. I was traveling for my board. When, when uh, surprisingly, in an accident of four cars and bus mm -hmm. occurred or happened. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So I know you have great ideas to share and I want everybody to have an opportunity to participate as Miguel is doing it. So this is what I'm going to do. Please take advantage of the time. I'm going to give you, uh, because of time, maybe three or four minutes and please read your sentences to one or to, to your peers, okay? So this way we can all participate, okay? I'm going to create groups at this moment and I'm going to send you to the groups, but please uh, do that participate, read your examples, take advantage of the time because we don't have much time. Here we go.
ای هم بنویسید I know you guys were giving brilliant ideas, right? Brilliant ideas, so creative ideas. And I wanted, you know, I said, I want to hear some, so that's why I closed the rooms. <laughs> but, you know, they haven't, they haven't come back. So they're coming, they're, they're coming. Oh, right, time is over. And I want to hear some stories. I know you got many ideas that you are going to share with me, okay? I'm a teacher in groups. <laughs> okay, so I know you guys uh, were having fun because you got many ideas, but then I, want, I said, no, I want to hear at least some of them. So who wants to participate by telling the stories or the ideas you heard on the rooms? Okay. Volunteers. Thank you so much, Gerard. Okay. We were on you on your way from the festival when normally somebody lost the ticket. Okay. That's sad. Sadly. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Me teacher. Thank you so much, Claudia. It is hard out as normal day, but I receive a sadly news about my aunt. Oh, I see that. That was that was a little bit touchy. <laughs> okay. Good. Any other one? Teacher. Yes, thank you. I I was working the down the down street when unfortunately I lost my wallet. <laughs> I like that one. That must be really painful. <laughs> okay, so any other? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Miguel. Nara? I was I was walking when I expected to find money on the street. Oh, okay. That's lucky. <laughs> okay, you are very lucky. Okay, um, one or two more participants. Thank you so much, Julio. I was I was walking down the street when immediately two cars crashed near to me. Oh, that's so so bad. Okay, I imagine. So any one more, please, to finish this up. One more. I was reading a good good book when uh, teleport a uh, uh, satellite. In the sky, in the sky. Okay, a satellite. Okay, so thank you so much, Miguel. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, well, we're gonna finish the session today, like I like until now. Really hope you can continue practicing and also completing the exercises on the platform. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.